brought to India by the British Army and the game flourished in the barracks. Suitable climatic conditions in India and the supple body movement which was the hallmark of the game made the Indians to quickly adapt to the game. The erstwhile Indian Hockey Federation, now Hockey India, which was formed on November 7, 1925 with Gwalior, Punjab, Rajputana, Delhi, Sindh, Western India, Uttar Pradesh and the Army's Control Board as members. Did you know the golden age of Indian hockey was from 1928 to 1964? In those 36 years, India won 7 Olympic Games gold medals, including 6 consecutive victories from 1928 to 1956. India lost the gold to Pakistan in 1960 Rome Olympics but regained the gold in 1964 Tokyo Olympics. After that, India won an Olympic gold in 1980 at Moscow and now 130 billion Indians are hoping that the Indian hockey teams, both men and women have qualified, will do the country proud in Rio. Unfortunately, the Indian women's hockey team is already mired in controversy with Captain Ritu Rani being axed from the preparatory camp in Bangalore on grounds of lack of performance and attitude problems. India's only hockey wizard Dhyan Singh, who soon earned the sobriquet of Chan since he practiced under moonlight, was in no small measure responsible for India's grand success in the international field. Indian hockey has been going through turmoil especially after some administrators were accused of abject corruption and dictatorial tendencies. It has been a literal seesaw for Indian hockey past the 1980 Olympics triumph and Indian players have been struggling to cope up with challenges posed internationally. Despite hiring foreign coaches, Indian hockey has failed to inspire the diehard Indian fans. What do you think needs to be done to revive Indian hockey to regain its lost glory? You can post your comments below.